What do you think? Ah! Too deadly, Arnie Doreen. I see you got one of those contracts for when you make artwork and sell it through the art centre. It sets out what both sides need to do, Arnie. Sure. No good, Bert. What's that there? That's my contract. A lot of people get ripped off. And how you know if you're not one of them? I've got an old secret weapon. It's getting advice. You need to read a contract carefully, ask a lot of questions before you sign it, and them arts law mob can help you with that, Arnie. This contract says that if Arnie makes an artwork with the help of the art centre, they can sell it and promote it and help her as best they can. You should be careful that other people can't copy your work or use it in ways you wouldn't like. Copyright provides a way for artists to protect and make money from their work. The contract says that artists own the copyright, but the Art Centre can help Artie make money from copying her painting. That's called licensing. This one says the Art Centre can take pictures of Artie's artwork to promote it and put it on some social media like Instagram. But Artie has to agree to what social media can be used. This artist can also decide not to let the art centre use images of the artwork. If there's a problem using an image, then the artist needs to make sure the art centre knows about it. It also says the art centre has to keep records of Arnie's artwork and her money story and let her know what's going on. If something happens to Arnie's paintings and it gets lost or damaged, the art centre is responsible and she is covered by their insurance. Nothing gets past this, Auntie. I'll bring it back when I'm happy with it. That's right, Auntie. You take your time. Auntie's right. It's good to take the time to make sure you read and understand everything. Nice take, Auntie. That's a nice painting too. Auntie doesn't want her paintings ending up on a tea towel or t-shirt. Not without her say so. Her contract with the art centre protects her from that. Remember copyright. It says that Auntie owns all the intellectual property in her art. That means her copyright and moral rights. Auntie should never give them away. But the art centre can help her license the work so she gets some money. Auntie's work is too deadly. Lots of people will want it. The contract says the art centre can help her register with the copyright agency. They make sure Auntie gets paid. If her art is used by schools or the government, the art centre can't take any of that money. It's all Auntie's. And when Auntie's artwork are sold again, she can get more money. It's called resale royalties. How are you today, my friend? What are you talking to that bird? Yeah, that's my friend. He looks after me. That contract says the art centre must respect the cultural heritage and practices of auntie and her people. It's called ICIP. When they display the artwork, they must make sure people know auntie owns the copyright and they must respect her I see I pee. So, any more questions, Auntie? Yeah, I've got plenty. One of the most important things is it sorts out the money story. So Auntie knows how much she gets and how long it takes for her to get paid. This contract says that Auntie has to be paid in 30 days. It also says Auntie or the art centre can decide to change or even end the contract. The contract says if Artie has an exclusive agreement with the art centre, 
She can't sell her work to anyone else. If it's non-exclusive, then it's OK. We want it to be exclusive so unfair dealers don't take advantage of you. But it's entirely up to you, Auntie. Auntie's contract also talks about consignment. That means the art centre can sell Artie's artworks through another gallery, like in the big smoke. If the gallery sells the work, the contract says how much money the gallery gets and how much goes to Artie and the art centre. What do you think? Should I sign? Have you made sure your copyright and moral rights are protected, Artie? Yep. And you've sorted your copyright and licensing money story? Yep. And if people want to use pictures for promotion, or social media. Yep. And if it's exclusive or non-exclusive with the art centre. Yep. And how much you'll get if another gallery sells your work. Yep. Now you've signed, you still have a cooling off period of seven days. You can change your mind in that time. Well, I'm going to do my cooling off at the riverbank. Sure, you stupid bird. No, he's deadly bird. He's really nosy one, this one. No, it's good to be a nosy one. When it comes to contracts, you have to ask a lot of questions. And don't forget the arts law mob. They can help you too. Oh, might be a clever one then. Artists in the black, helping you protect your work.